Hello friends, it's Allison. Welcome back. It is day two of Stamptember and I have another spooky Halloween card to share with you today. We are going to be making this fun shaker card and here are the products we're going to use. We're going to use the same stamp set that I used yesterday uh, and if you didn't see that video I will link to it at the end. This is the Friendly Ghosts stamp set. And we're also going to be using this new die, the Happy Happy Halloween die. And then we're also going to be using these little guys. These are some of the newest saturated, positively saturated ink cubes. This is the Purple Field set. So we're going to start with the hat. And again, if you saw yesterday's video, I stamped onto craft cardstock yesterday. And I stamped onto the actual die cut. This time we're stamping onto just white cardstock. And for the hat, I'm using charcoal ink. I will have the colors of ink at the top of the screen that I'm using. So I'm inking it up pretty similar to the way I inked it up yesterday. It's gonna be a black hat with purple details. And Again, for the shadow, I'm going to use black pigment ink because I really want that sharp contrast between the shadow and the base of the hat. So just like yesterday, I am going to stamp the shadow layer first because the shadow layer kind of lines up with the shadow, the black shadow of the hat. So I'm gonna be using the darkest color of these two purples, the amethyst, and I will stamp that. And then I'll come in with that lighter color. So I'm just doing the hat today. You saw on the card, I'm not doing the little ghost. And I just think it's such a cute hat. But I'm gonna make it even cuter or at least cuter in my opinion. I am going to take a black pen and I'm gonna just add some details on the hat just to kind of outline everything. And I'll put an outline around the hat as well. Now I am gonna fussy cut this hat, so I'm not sure you really see the black outline in the end result, but you know, it just helped me fussy cut easier that's for sure so here I'm going to fussy cut and I'm going to speed through this who here likes fussy cutting anybody anybody I I don't mind doing it every once in a while especially if it's something like this that has a distinct outline um, but if it's like a cat with whiskers no I'm not going to do that all right, so now I'm taking a black marker and I'm just going around just to cover up the white exterior of that. After I cut it, it left, you know, the white cardstock. So it just makes it look more finished when you add black marker around the edge. So now that the ink has dried, I feel like there's way too much contrast between the hat and the black shadow. So I'm just taking a black marker. This happens to be one of my Olo alcohol ink markers and I'm just going to color it because you can do that. If you stamped an image and you want to add highlights or other features with a marker, go for it. I think this looks so much better now that I did that. You can still see the black shadow, but Again, there was just too much contrast for me. So now I have a white piece of cardstock and I'm lining up this die. The great thing about this die is it's square so you can line it up with your T-square ruler and that way you know it's centered on your panel. So now I'm gonna pop out all these letters and there's so many different things you can do with this die. So what I'm doing right now is I'm separating the little centers of the letters like in the P and the A and the O. And then I'm gonna put those aside so I don't lose them because I lose everything. And then I'll save the letters as well because I can use those for another card 
Like I can stack the letters and just use the letters on a card. So now what I've done, I've cut another panel. I felt like the sentiment needed to be a little bit higher on my panel. So I just cut it again from a second panel and this is the one that we're going to use. So now it's time to build the shaker and this is a really easy shaker. I have just some acetate and I'm going to adhere it to the back of that card panel with my score tape. You can use any double-sided tape. I like using double-sided tape. Maybe some of you like using glue. I just feel like, you know, the tape, I don't have any drying time issues with tape. So I'm just going to pull off the release paper and adhere the acetate and then we're ready to move on. So the next thing to do is to add foam tape. I'm using my all to new foam tape today and sometimes this would be thick enough if you're just using very flat shaker elements or not a lot of shaker elements but I'm going to be using pretty large sequins in my shaker today so I'm going to put my first layer of foam tape down and I'll just put a piece on each side and then I will enclose the square where the letters are. So that's where all the sequins are gonna be contained. And then I can just fill in the rest so that the whole panel is level. Now I could have folded the foam tape on, onto itself and cut it and you know maybe it probably would have been faster, but now I'm now doubling it up right here. So you'll see I'll take the release tape off the bottom layer and I'll add the second layer. And it's really easy. I mean, it was easy to build this shaker because what I'm enclosing is square. You know, it's not oddly shaped or anything like that. So off camera, I filled my shaker and you'll see I filled it quite a bit I because I just want these letters to be full of color and so I just used a bunch of different colored large sequins and a few small sparkly sequins and there's maybe a few um, like silver stars in there but again just purples, oranges and greens and now I'm taking the release paper off and just putting a white piece of paper behind there and that is going to enclose the shaker. So now it's time to find a sub sentiment and I'm using this reverse witch sentiment strip set. I love the sentiment strips from Simon. There's so many different ones and it just saves so much time. And you know what else saves time? When you go to look at these sentiments and there's actually one that you already previously cut. <laughs> I and I think it works perfectly for this card, but I'm not going to lie. I was happy that it was already cut and ready for me to just move on. So here, I just wanted to show you my little Goldilocks moment. I was trying different colors of card bases. So I really liked the green. I thought, let's try light gray. That was kind of boring. The black was okay. But, you know, the green was looking pretty good. But then out of the corner of my eye, I spotted some lavender, a lavender card base. And that's what I decided to go with. So I'm just going to glue this panel onto the card base. And again, this shaker just could not have been easier as far as shakers are concerned. Well, it could have been a flat shaker. That would have been easier, but it would not have been as fun. I just love this sentiment. And this sentiment, by the way, um, is from Kathy Zilski. And she had one at Christmas that was similar. I forget exactly what it said, but very similar um, sentiment cut out. I have just cut out a black piece of paper kind of in the shape of the hat. I didn't want to put foam tape on the hat because my panel is already lifted so much off this card. I really didn't want much more bulk. 
but I just wanted a little bit of lift for that hat. And now I'm going to glue it and I'm just going to kind of perch it on top of, of that cutout sentiment. And for the Let's Party Witch, I also put just a black strip of paper on the back of that as well. Again, just to give it the same amount of lift that the hat has. And before I glue it on, what I like to do with these sentiments, they're, when you cut them out, you can see the white. So you'll see that. And I just take a black pen, similar to what I did with the hat. And I just run the marker along the sides. And now it's time to glue it on. And I love how colorful this shaker is. And I, the reason I filled it so much, I just didn't want any of the letters to be too empty, even when you, you know, shake it around and lift it up. All right, I bet you thought I forgot about these little guys. And you're right, I did forget. But now I'm coming back in and I'm trying to decide if I want to actually place them in there and they do look it looks more correct to have the little centers of the letters in there but there was something about it that just wasn't as fun to me so I ultimately you know I just kind of sat with it for a little bit and I don't know I just kind of liked the letters without this the uh centers so you'll see me just decide to scrap them. And here I go. Just scrap it. And so really, this card is done now. And I'll let you listen. And that is it for my shaker. I hope you're all having fun so far looking at all the new products from Simon and that you're getting ready for some of the collaborations. Uh, this is part of a party, so I'm going to include a link to my blog in the description below. So definitely check out my blog because there will be some special offers for you to find. Um, and that is it for me today. Thanks so much for joining and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.